Yes, guys, it is me, Tommy Ryan. You one, two, three. I hope you're all having a good day. I am certainly having an incredible day. Make sure, as always, guys, to click subscribe before we get into this video because you don't want to miss out on any of the future builds. We're doing a hundred and O run in pro clubs, so get ready for that series. Um, make sure to also click the sub, uh, notification bell and make sure to click the like button as well, guys. Let's go, guys, into this build. I want to make this quick and easy for you guys i don't want to mess around you know and take too long because i know some of you are just here to see the build and bounce use it on um pro clubs guys remember with, like with every single build um i talk to vfl players you know i know a lot of vfl players so i talk to them i'm, I'm asking them look guys what really would inspire a very good build and that's what i'm trying to kind of create for you guys as well so remember my rating may not be as accurate as may, yours may be just because you may have played literally 500 more games than me. And remember, the more games you play in your position, the higher rating you get. So that is a very key thing. 5 for 5, 119 pounds. Very important that you do this. Because if you're 5 for 5 and you have 119 pounds, 119 pounds is like the kind of the sweet spot when it comes to weight on this game. And 5 for 5, because you have to be small, this game is how it is. It's all about pace. It's all about abusing the wings. It's all about abusing the crosses into the uh, back post with RBX or R1X or whatever the cross is on PlayStation. And that is exactly what you have to do on Pro Clubs as well. So therefore, you have the 5 for 5 height and 119 pounds weight. Gameplay-wise, you're going to be a center forward. This is a very important part, guys. You cannot be a striker. You'll see. Some things change. Center forward may have less heading accuracy, but his short pass is obviously better. Um, volleys, that kind of stuff. You know, these things get affected in the long run. And center forward seems to be quicker. Striker, EA does not want you to have pace. EA does not like you having pace when you're a striker. So what you have to be is a center forward for you to obviously be able to utilize all the pace you may need. So, guys, that's that. Let's get straight into the skill tree because obviously you guys are interested. Look, I have this amount of skill points. Make sure to always comment down below if you have any more questions. Um, on you know, in terms of how you can utilize your skill tree with your skill points, I'll always answer them uh, down below, guys. And I'll try and answer this in the question in the video as well. You know, try and make you see. You know, if I have less skill points, what should I focus on? First of all, pace. Always a thing, isn't it? I mean. You want that pace. 90 acceleration, 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed is brilliant. You obviously have this higher the more you play, so you don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, this is so key. It is such a key part. Um, and I cannot stress enough how important this is. It really, really is, guys. So make sure you have pace. Shooting is also a massive priority. You know this already, right? Weak foot, you need to have good weak foot, okay? Let me explain to you. Why any five star weak foot in FIFA? A game where sometimes it goes down to you having one lucky bounce or you having one lucky, uh, you know, breakthrough. You need to be able to quickly turn onto your left foot if you're right footed, or turn onto your right foot if you're left footed, and be able to feel confident in front of goal. It is very, very important. You want to have finishing, advanced focus, because that's basically what you're made to do. I add finesse shot trait personally. It's my thing. Um, I'll show you in a second what, uh, you know, if you don't want to use it, what you'd be doing. We go straight onto the dribbling. Where we want the skills. We want the five star skills. I love doing skills. I'll be honest with you guys. I love doing skills. Um, you don't want to add any of the specialities, by the way, because if you add the specialities, as you can see, your dribbling goes down. You do not want that. If you want an extra agility, you can go here. But obviously, 89 agility is already good enough for me. So I'd go for the extra balance because the balance is very very important in the long run but all these specialities usually ruin something else so do not focus on gain now obviously um but yeah guys that weak foot five star five star you are going to be so versatile you are going to be so quick people are not going to be able to catch up to you and then they'll also not be able to know what you're going to do next because who knows you might do an elastico you know but if you do not like doing skills guys just take it off Perfectly fine. You have four star skills, but I think four star is the minimum. You need five stars. Obviously, if you're really good at using them. Now, stamina. I always add it. I think stamina is very key, um, especially as a striker. A lot of people don't add stamina, and then they're in the mud later on. I, I don't understand why someone would not add stamina. You know, if you really struggle with keeping your stamina, add second wind. I don't really struggle when I play striker, and usually VFL 
pro se that obviously they have to run around a lot. So of course they use second wind. But if you're not struggling with that or you're just getting used to the f position and you just want to, you know, kind of get accustomed, then don't use second wind. If you're good at you don't controlling everything, you shouldn't have to need it, by the way. You shouldn't have to. Um, if you have extra points, what do you do? Shot power is always a thing. Uh, shot power is always very, very important. Don't do penalties, guys. Um, shot power is always very important just because um, this game really relies on you having good shot power and center forward doesn't really have that because of how the game, once again, is built, which is obviously not your fault. It is not uh, you know, anyone's fault. It's really just EA. So that's something you can focus on with your extra points and then passing. You can just add it to short pass, uh, obviously, if you want. Um, pace, I don't know, guys, in terms of improving it. You know, if you really feel like you're not fast enough, then I guess, you know, add the extra two to acceleration, take it away from the passing, and go down the other way and add the sprint speed. You can always do that as well. That's always an option. Um, but personally, I just don't think it's that important. If you want long shots, advanced focus, there's a lot of options, as you can see, with the extra points you have. You usually have three or so points left. So decide what you want to do with that. But that's exactly how I play, guys. This exact build right here is how i play i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to click the subscribe button make sure to click the like button make sure to notify yourself because you don't want to miss out on any of the future content you're all amazing people and i hope you all have an incredible day peace